is at the Clayton Hospital. Dr. Jordan thinks there may be a skull fracture. As soon as he regains consciousness, we'll find out where he was being held prisoner. Well, what did you learn? Nothing of importance, sir. The operators report that the factory was absolutely deserted and most of the machinery was wrecked. That'll be all. Yes, sir. Well, there goes another one of our clues. All we can do now is wait for Edwards to speak. Yes, speaking. Oh, one moment, please. Joyce Edwards phoning you from the hospital. Now we'll have some news. Hello, Joyce. Yes, Captain. He's recovered consciousness, but he doesn't know me. His memory is gone. Oh, I'm sorry, Joyce. Terribly sorry. Yes, you'd better stay there with him for a while. That's right. Goodbye. Well, we're stymied for the time being. Edwards has lost his memory. Dr. Jordan thinks it may take an operation to make him speak. Oh, don't worry, Miss Edwards. Your father's physically sound, and I'm quite certain we can clear up his mental disorder within a few weeks. Let me know if there's any rise in his temperature, Miss Gray. Yes, Doctor. It should be in the office. I won't be back today unless you send for me. Yes, Doctor. Oh, by the way, Miss Edwards, I wouldn't allow anyone to question your father. It'll only tend to upset him. I understand, Doctor. Yes, I've got that. Dr. James Jordan. Yes. All right, have the men stand by for immediate action. Has Edwards talked? No, not yet. He's still unconscious in the Clayton Memorial Hospital. I want that, Doctor. You mean what a great...